Mary at the Mary Atelier, and it is Sunday evening, July the 2nd. Happy July! Yeah. Two days away from the United States 4th of July, it will be 247 years, I think. Is am I right there for 2023? I'd have to look that up. So, welcome to my desk. Welcome to my desk. I'm going to go over here on my tablet and come to my channel so that I can welcome folks in. Do, 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 do. Happy birthday, United States. Seems like we're older than that. It just seems like we're older than 200 and maybe it's 74 instead of 47. I think it's 47 though. I think it's 247 years for the birthday of the United States in 2023. So let me fix my live chat and hi Melody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me set the quality. 720. All right. I have journaling that I want to do tonight. Art journaling. Penelope's here. I might do some snippets of all the little pieces I have over here. We celebrated our 4th of July last night. The family 4th of July. Um my nephew and his wife and my niece had us over and uh, had her parents over. So it was a pretty good lit off fireworks. We had pizza. So this was a napkin. I asked her if I could have an extra one. I'm going to put it in my July desk journal. And uh, I also have things I want to put in the June desk journal that have just kind of piled up here during the month of June. <laughs> oh, dearie me. So I was able to rescue one little 4th of July <laughs> firework packaging. They laugh at me because after she sets this is a snake, you know, it makes that black, the black, uh, oh, sooty thing. Uh, of course, the little, the little pieces out of here, I threw it away. It's got a staple in it. So I always like to, if I can, rescue something. <laughs> they laugh at me because I do it, but I still do it. And then this is the June. I'm going to set all this up above. We'll come back to that. What I really want to talk about is I'm working in that ledger journal. Let's see. Hi, Leah. Welcome, Leah. How am I this evening? Well, I took a nap. I, I woke up early this morning, real early, and I went out and I started weeding that okra patch. Ah, I got it about half done and I was tired, so I quit. And uh, then I came in and I made some bar cookies and, and uh, went to church. <laughs> and uh, then... Um, I fell asleep. I took, I think I took about two naps today. Uh, we were kind of tired from yesterday. Kind of tired me out. Yeah. Hi, Leah. Did I say hello to you? Let me refresh my chat here. So this is the 4th of July weekend. Uh, drove home last night. Oh, there was a beautiful full moon. Uh, Beautiful full moon. And, uh, of course, there were fireworks going going on all over the place. So I thought I'd work on my um, Nancy Drew doll. But what I have to do now is mostly sewing on the machine. And I just don't have that sorted out yet. So I'm going to work on this ledger journal. And let me switch my camera down just a little. I've been busy. Yep, 
I've been busy. <laughs> so uh, welcome to everybody who's up in the balcony. Come on down. <laughs> Come on down. I'm doing the prices right thing. All right. So I went through. I want my ledger, this ledger journal. I created it last week. I'm going to pull it out here. I got some more goodies here. But I wanted to tell a story. And I've been going through all my, my, a lot of things that I've gotten from Johnny over the past few months. And I'm going to call it a keepings journal. K-E-E-P-I-N-G-S. But it's not going to be my keepings. It's going to be the keepings of this lady. And I'm going to base this story off of her. And it says, from M. King on Grant Street in Denver, Colorado. And the date on this stamp is... I don't see a date. But these are four cent stamps. Let's see, I think she dated the letter. I think it was in the 50s. Let's look at this. But this is going to be her keepings journal, uh, kind of like her commonplace journal. Let's see, Thursday, January 29th, Tuesday, February 1959, answering your letter of January 29th. So she wrote this in 1959. So it's it's a more recent letter, but I'm going to include, I went through and I found, of course, I got these from Keisha, but like this could be her graduation picture. So, and it looks like it might be in the 50s. It just has a number here, 3868. Three, eight, eight. There's no date. So that could be her graduation picture. This could be a family get-together. It looks like somebody's playing a guitar there. And so this is, there's going to be a section in this ledger, her keepings ledger, of photos. Like, this could be her family. This could be her as a young girl and her mother and father. And maybe she has two brothers. And here they are again. Here, she, here is, looks like the same family, too. And I only see one brother there. This could be her cousins. <laughs> and uh, so... I, I chose out of those pictures, I mean, that I got from Keisha, things that there's going to be a family section in here. Let's see. I want this to go back in here. And I think I chose one. Well, I'll have to, I'll have to find it. Maybe it's still in here. Yeah. I chose one of her and... The letter that she wrote to was Harry. So I'm, and you know, she looks similar in all these pictures with the dark short hair. So that could be her and Harry. And it's all going to be fictional, but it's based off of this letter. Now I know that in 1959, she lived in Denver. And I've been trying to make out this address. It looks like Puerto Rico, South America. Let me hold this up close. And I'm just going to show the address. I'm sure he's probably passed away. But I'm thinking this is saying Puerto Rico. I'm not sure. And I'm not sure what that is, though. If you guys can figure this out, I'd appreciate it. I know it's South America, but I haven't figured this out. It looks like P-E, 
or P A R A something that looks like Rico. So that makes me think it's Puerto Rico, but it may be P P E R E something E R I C O. P E N S I O N F no K E R E S T E N or something like that. So if you guys can figure that out, you might know South America better than I do. And this one, I'm not sure what this is. S U R I N something W? I don't know. So, and of course, this is a love letter, so to speak, but she gives a lot of other information in here. Like, uh, you can tell that she's, she's wanting to know where this relationship is going. There's one paragraph in there that makes me think she wants to know what's going to happen. <laughs> Are we going to get together or not? And of course, now he's down in South America when she writes this, so... My other question was, what was he from South America or and traveled up here to Denver? And maybe she met him in Denver or maybe he traveled to South America for work or maybe he was studying in college and went back home. So we don't know the backstory. Now, I know that got this letter from Johnny and I know she had other letters. So I don't know, she, you know, and of course I got this in the kit, this ledger kit. So I don't know if there are other letters that would fill in the blank. If there are, somebody else has them. But, so there's where I'm going with that. Then I've got oodles of, let's see, I've got some ledger paper. And, and not ledger, well, it is ledger paper here. But I bought this from Johnny. Uh, yeah, I paid 20 for it. Don't, I guess I'll just leave that label on. But these are big flashcards. And uh, when she was selling them, somebody said, what do you do with these big flashcards? And she was showing how, let me see if I can find the opening here. We'll pull We'll pull some out here. See if we can make them. We'll just take this step. And of course, there's some ribbon in there. Let's pull that out because that could be cool in this. Oh, that's in its separate little package. So these big flashcards say Away Animal Comes. And these are, these are uh, real flashcards. Splash, jump, gave, down, go, boats, catch, caps, sad, father. Father might be a good one to do coat and four. I'm going to keep father out because that could go with one of those pictures. And I'm just going to put these over here for now. And I'm going to uh, show you what she said. You could fold them in half like this and make them as an insertion. Now, I've already bound my journal, but I could see putting a, a photo on this. And maybe write a little bit about her father on there. Probably put it like this and open it up like that. Or I could put it at the top. But she was showing how you could do that. She was showing some of the things you could do with these big flashcards. I'm going to keep this one out. And I got a packet of lace. Um... This is real cool. This is going to go on on pages. And this is just a, a snippet roll of 
fabric. So these are her keepings. And let me just pull this bag off here. And look, she must have a pen pal in Australia. <laughs> There's a little doily that has a kangaroo on it. And a, what is that, a boomerang? A little. So these are her keepings. Maybe I'll find a picture of a lady and, and say, you know, from my pen pal in Australia. She crocheted the edges. And then I got these little wooden pieces. Let's see, this was the giveaway. I'm not sure what I... What I think the giveaway was this. I think this was the giveaway. And she just grabbed... It. I think everybody got something in that giveaway. There were... She had 16 or 17 items she was giving away. And she just grabbed... And she grabbed the kangaroo for me thank you Johnny and then here are some um, was this from uh, Donna I can't remember who did these see there's no uh, these are just little snippets and I thought they would be fun to put in this journal just little button snippets and this is just lace and here are some art. This is these are art. Like these, this is a paintbrush, and it says, uh, "It's upside down." Authentic. And there's easels and frames and crowns. Bebo butterfly. I think this says "Be unique," and some birds. So, I'm going to make a keepings journal for. Now, she self-addressed this as M. King, M-K-I-N-G, but on here, she signs it, I'm trying to figure out what, maybe M is her first name and she doesn't use it, because down here she says, lovingly, you're Alexia, and nearly wife and honey. <laughs> So, I'm just going to call her Alexia M. King, I think. And you kind of understand from reading this, I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm going to pick out things I did the other night, picked out things. Uh, she's going to go to dinner. And before she's going to dinner, she's going to answer the letter. Um, and then she talks about... Um, she's sending her love to that beautiful tropical city where he's residing for the time being. So I wonder what took him down there. What an imposing edifice is the governor's palace. So he's either showed her a picture of the governor's palace or he's working in the governor's palace for the governor. It's very like some of the things on Aladdin's lamp stories. I feel as if I were about to open a beautiful book where I would be filled with all the East Indian lore. The th now, he's in South America and was about to find myself a fairy princess who was waiting to take my hand, a lovely, lovely dream and how wonderful it seems to me to feel that some of it might come true. The uh, fairy princess of my dreams. I'm enjoying the book I loaned from the library. So I know that she likes to read because she's talking about, she's talking about um, Aladdin lamp stories here. And she, she borrowed a book from the library. It has a, Wonderful chapter on Guinea, New Guinea, Guinea, G U I A N A, and all the rich store in. Oh, here's that Surin, S U R I N A M colony. So that's part of what this is here S U R I N A M colony. So 
So I'm going to have to research and see what that's all about. It varies during the year. At, the fall is the warmest time. When you realize one week in Denver, the temp went from three above to 60. She says, I barely glanced at the book and all the rich things that it is. What is bauxite used for? B-A-U-X-I-T-E used for? I feel I was very fortunate to see this book because it will answer so many of the things that are mentioned in your letters. So he's written to her evidently about bauxite, B-A-U-X-I-T-E, and she wants to know what it is. It spoke of the S-U-R-I-N-A-M river and its sources at, oh, there it is, P-A-R-A-M-A-R-B-O. So that's what this is, P-A-R-A. So I'm going to have to look that city up and see, you know, what I can research about that, because evidently she found the book all about it. So this will go in her keepings. Um, I feel so at one with you in whatever interests, and she's saying it's wonderful to delve into this history. She gave up going to the home to see Mrs. Cole and will go on Thursday. So it sounds like she's visiting somebody in a nursing home, a Mrs. Cole. So one of those pictures could be Mrs. Cole, who she's visiting. Uh, after I go to church to a luncheon for the Women's Association, so I might be able to find a picture of a group of ladies and put in there and call it her uh, keeping from a luncheon from the Women's Association. Then on Sunday, we'll have our New Year's reception. So happy to be out in circulation. I'm going to use good sense and not overdo it. A splendid letter from Will. He's very busy getting his credential in order for his surveying class. So Will could be her brother He's very interested, but a little bored having his passport pictures taken as well as his fingerprints. So he's getting ready to go overseas. That realizes that it is necessary. He was something, he was speaking of the time you two wrote your college thesis. So she might have met Harry through Will because it it sounds like they know each other. And how much he enjoyed working together with you. Now she says it's about dark, so I will go and mail this letter. Then I'm going to get some Virginia baked ham and slaw for dinner. I will get this at the delicatessen so I could find a picture of a delicatessen or I could find a picture of Virginia baked ham. So I'm going to use this letter and I'm going to call her Alexia, A-L-E-X-I-A, -E and I'm going to call her Alexia M, the keepings of Alexia M. I really think my journal, sh um, it's fun making these, but they need to have a story. They need to have a story other than just art, I think, and goodies. I, I, I kind of want to tell a story with these. And so these are going to be Alexia's, and I want to put it on here, maybe Alexia's Keepings, something like that. But I'm going to have to practice it first. And then I went through that library book and I pulled out things I thought would go good in here. Uh, there's some text here. These are, this is a pocket that came with some of Johnny's old, uh, her other, this is a sack, came with Johnny's Happy Mail when I ordered from her. So I've got that and this. I've got the letter. I got her pen pal 
or maybe a college friend from Australia, a exchange student from Australia. This I'm not sure I'll use. I might find a way. And this, and ribbon, and I've got these um, little, I'm going to use those. And then I've got little pieces of lace and ribbons. So I want her, and then I've got pictures and some fabric, some text fabric. Oh, and there's some, um, there's some music postcards, and then and I'm going to put those in pockets. These came, I don't know if this came with the library. This one came with the library. But I'm almost done with the library journal. It's going to be all about kids. And there's a list of spelling. And this this is still with the library journal. Then, then, I have a date stamp. And I guess that's about the way I'm going. Um, this is enough to start out with. Let's welcome folks in. Let me refresh my chat. Hi, Kimber. What did I say, Kimberly? Hi, Kimberly. Good going, Leah. Leah said, it's the capital of S-U-R-I-N-A-M-E. Suriname? 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 It's in South America. That's a cute kangaroo, Leah says. I love the idea of doing a story. Well, I, you know, I could do my own stuff in there, do art, but I thought I'd have a section for family photos and a section for um, maybe quotes and, and of course, the letters, maybe correspondence. I don't know if I can find any more correspondence. Um, but I'm just thinking quotes, maybe little snippets out of the newspaper, maybe... Uh, she's researching that area of S-U-R-I-N-A-M-E. <laughs> so maybe I could find some information of that and put it in here in one of her sections. I've got six signatures. Here's the journal itself. It turned out really nice. I think I'll start with... I think I'll start with these. And maybe... Uh, where is it? I was thinking this fabric. That'll help me get a good start. And I might put some this looks like some of its book band though. I don't I don't I think I'll keep this for journals. This is book band. I've got ribbon. Got a whole bunch of lace stuff here. Lace grab bag. 25 pieces at 20 inches. So something like this pink would be nice. And maybe the darker. So, and I might do some of the family. So let's, let's just put this over here. And I'll work on it as I go. And I'll probably bop around. <laughs> All right. Uh, Angela. Hi, Angela. Adele. Welcome, welcome. And Romero. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Romero. A, A, R, A, D. Yeah, you're from Argentina. And forgive me for not being able to pronounce your names correctly. I'm lucky I could pronounce my own name correctly. <laughs> oh, dear me. Uh, Leah's here. Kimberly. Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Kel Rawson. Welcome, welcome. Leah says, I love the moon and stars. God's creation amazes me. Yeah. And we're back to the top. Um, Melody's here. Where Melody came in. So I want to thank you guys for spending Sunday evening with me. Now this has one of those ball pins on here. So let's see if I can take this off. Where does it 
Where does it clip? Hmm. I don't see the... put that over here for now and let's see what this is this is universal metal polish t-r-u-m-p-i-n-e horse h-o-r-s-e-u-m brothers horsum brothers the genuine it's got a pretty lady there so, I thought I would just put some of these. Um, I dropped something. Uh, these would make nice tabs, though, wouldn't they? At the beginning of each signature. Let's do that. So, my last signature was the short one. This one. And I had to kind of mend it in there. But let's see the buttons here. I'm going to start down here. There's six signatures, and I'm just going to put them in with that fine art glitter glue. And we're just going to have signatures with the little lacy. I only need six of them. I don't know how many are in here. I paid three fifty for them. I th I think that's fair. Let's see if I can open this up. So let's pull out six. One. These are pretty. Two. Three. Four, five, I've got seven of them. Six, seven. That's cool. So I'm just going to put them on the first page of the journal. Welcome, Romero and Angela. There's they're um, saying hello to each other. Yep, I went out this morning and weeded in that okra patch. <laughs> and I'll tell you, it's the it's the grass. Uh, it used to be lawn, and that grass just I don't know. It just comes back. Arlene told me about this. One of her friends glued a foam piece on the edge of her fine art glitter glue. And so she sticks her pen in there so she doesn't lose it. And I've been doing that. That was a great suggestion. So let's see. I want the button. I guess like that. So I'm going to put it on here. So this is going to be the keepings journal of Alexia M. King. And I don't know. I suppose at one time she was a real person. I don't know how the letters got to Johnny. Um, but this is in, in the journal here. This is going to be all fictional, except for what I can understand from that letter. I wish I knew if there was more than one letter uh, of the same person, because then I could fill in the blanks. But sometimes it's good to use your imagination, too. So we'll do that and just fill in the blanks of... And we know the year is 1959, so I could date this on the side, 1959. And the story will, of course, be fictional. But 
but we know she likes to read. We know she lives in Denver. And it even, the envelope even gives a um, address, the street. So I could go look that up online and, you know, maybe sketch a picture of it. Say she went out and drew a picture of her street. She got bored. <laughs> oh, let's see. I want this to all go on the same, and it's kind of torn. So let's take of all this stuff I have. I need a I need a piece of paper <laughs> or a, something to put behind there. Let me look over here because this is torn on the. Let me look in the kit box and see what I can find. I'm sure I have a scrap like this. And I've got other stuff I can put in there too. I'm not going to dig it all out right now. Let me close this up so it doesn't spill. Yeah, I didn't want to spend all afternoon or all morning out in the garden, so I was only out there maybe, yeah. Uh, an hour maybe about an hour let's see let me leave this that on the back of this oh I got two of them here oh it's it's uh folded in half that's cool we'll leave it folded in half let's move it over a little if I can Make it a little straighter, Mary. And then the... So it's all going to be fictional, and I like it being in a different... Now, I was alive in 59. I was probably, well, eight or nine years old in 1959. I was a child. We probably lived down in Texas then. All right. So... And, of course, these are going to stick out the edge here, but I like that idea, too. So we're going to start. That's the last one. This one may need a little bit more. I might have to move that in a little more. If I can pick it up again. I was going to work on the rag doll tonight, but I'm ready to actually do some sewing on the machine. Oh, that's too much. I'll get it here in a minute. Let's just move it down a little. Pull it out a little. There. That's good. And see, I could do sketches in here of Denver 
maybe I can find some pictures of Denver in 1959. You'd be amazed at what you can find online. And I'm just going to double these up. I could just put two here. I kind of like the idea of doing that so it falls in between. And this is kind of in the center. I think this is the, got the most. And this is fine art glitter glue that I'm using. I've got a string hanging on it. Now it's on me. I'll put it right in there. And got two more. One here. So I think, I thought maybe that was her um, high school graduation. That I thought I'd say she just got out of high school, but I think it's more of a college because she's probably a little bit older in, because she's probably met him through her brother and they were working on a thesis. And she seems a little bit more... Uh, educated like she goes to the library i think i'll put this one down here maybe i'll put two on this one put this one down here and i got one left which could go up there too and they'll hang out but this is a way i feel like i've made enough journals that you know i have drawing and art and you know kind of my art in there that i really want something to tell a, a story use the things that i find and buy and that and make a story out of it you'd be amazed at how things come together i'm gonna put this one right in here And this is kind of in the center. I think I'll put it right in here. And my zinnias are really popping out of the ground. My brother picked the zucchini today. Looked like we were going to have it for supper, but he, he went in and laid down, and I think he fell asleep. So I'm going, I'll just let him sleep. All right. So there's that. This one seems a little far. Well, no, they're both a little far out. I don't know if I can move them in now. That's what is it? This one? This one's fairly large. Now, no, it's down there. We're going to leave it. So there are those. And let's clean the... You know, I had paper towels out here and... And then I piled stuff on it. Let's put some hand sanitizer on that. Clean that off a little, if and I can. And I kind of want to document in the beginning of the book that this is a this is a fictional story because you know if it survives past my lifetime, somebody might say, "Oh, look at this! Look what she created!" And 
I want to say the word, I think I'll put Aletha M. King here and keepings up here. However, I'm not ready to do that. Let's see what I have here. Um, I think I'll go to the family here and start putting in some of these photos. And of course, I'm in a state of of uh, mess. <laughs> All my stuff is out in the living room. Let's put this back over here so I can find it the next time I want it. Um, maybe that isn't what I want to do next. <sighs> this could go, I could stamp this off and put it there. Let's do that. And I, in here, when I did this fly page, look, I have a, a newsprint, a Bow Bunny newsprint. And that came out really good. It came out really good. So this could be maybe her shopping in Denver. Of course, these are older than 1959. So, that's 1908. And I was reading the shorthand. I took shorthand in high school and college. And I was reading some of this. Don't ask me to read it here because I'd have to... The, the, on that other section of it, it has some explanations. Uh, acknowledge, order, correspond, particular, difficult... Um, to see, to put, to find, to be, to change. But I think it said something about your dreams. Was that on here? Um, let's see. Something about your dreams. Now let's see where I read that. However, however taking the time, however taking the steps that are essential to make your dreams come true. That's just the phrase that I read in here. However, taking the steps that are essential to, um, to make your dreams come true. That's what this little section in here says. And I don't want to interpret the rest of it. It'd take me a while to figure it out now. Now. <laughs> I like that. Let's see. I'm going to stamp this off. Maybe on. Where is that sack? Maybe on the back of this sack here where it's blank. Let's do that. And we'll use that to document. Because this is double, I believe. This was, she sent something in here with that library. And I can use this in the journal itself. This could have become a pocket. Where does it open at? It opens, oh, I don't think it opens. I don't think it opens it. So, I'm not sure I want to use it if I can't open it up. It looks like it should open, but it's glued down. So, I don't want to use that. that. I'll find a sheet that I could use. I have some front porch page journal stuff that I put this together, or I just folded it together. I guess I did sew it. I was going to use this out on the front porch, but I could tear some of this off. The eraser poem. 
the eraser poem, 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 the eraser, the e erase, the e erase, the era, the er, the e, the, 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 and it, it erases it all the way down. <laughs> Let's see. I think I'll just tear this out. And it probably, there. Although I like this too, but that's my wraparound for this. All right, we'll use that on something else. I think I want the, maybe the numbers here. Yeah, and that will fit right in there. Now, I need some ink. Oh, and I still have, you guys are going to have to kind of put up, well, you're, you're not have to, but <laughs> yeah, that kind of throws things off over to the side there. And I could zoom in a little. Are you guys, can you see good? Kimberly said her mom's calling. Hi, Brenda D. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Mina's here. Hi, Mina. Let me refresh my chat. On this tablet, I've got to refresh it before I see what's going on. Brenda says, hello, Mary. Hello, everyone. Nina says, hi, Mary. Hi, everyone. Hi, Elizabeth. E-R-C-E-G. I'll call you Elizabeth. Welcome, welcome, Elizabeth. Glad to have you join us. You love that page? I do too. Angela's here. Angela Adele. We have a lot of new folks in here tonight. Thanks for popping in. Kelly's here. Romero. Oh, you're Elizabeth from... Uh, she says... I'm Elizabeth from Argentina, but I think Romero was from Argentina too. And we're back to the kangaroo. Yeah. So chat moves kind of slow in here. I'm okay with that. I'm going to tear this maybe right here. <laughs> You've got thread hanging from that journal. Now, where did I make it? Right there. Right about here. I can hold it. And we're going to stamp this date stamp here. And I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put a little notation on here. Uh, I'm going to put, well, I think I'll put, uh, February 1959 up here because that's the date of that letter. And then I'm going to say um, this is a this journal is a fictional keepings journal of Alexia M. King. Uh, then I want to refer to the fact that I feel like the, I'll say it's a it's a handmade ledger. And I feel like these ledgers should be telling stories. I want to refer to that. I want to kind of refer to the fact that uh, Alexia is, even though she's real in this letter, this is a fictional story that we're putting together. What did I do with the letter? I just have... Have it all stacked up here. Now I want to look at the letter and it's over here somewhere. I want to make sure I got the date right. Uh... Tuesday, February 3rd, 1959. That's the date that I'm going to put on here. I'll be coming back to this. 
So let's go ahead and stamp this. And then just kind of making this up as I go, I've kind of thought about what I want to do. But, you know, as you do it, you get ideas too. A keepings journal is something like a commonplace, more like a, well, we call it keepings uh, or commonplace. Uh, in her day, they probably would have called it scrapbook. <laughs> uh, uh, not a scrapbook like we do in our in our time, our scrapbook in our time is, well, it's family photos, but they're more color photos and all of that scrapbooking. A scrapbook in 1959 would be cards and, and, uh, well, birth announcements, stuff like that. But I'm going to call this her keepings journal because I like the word keeping so let's do this on the back to test now I should probably have my mouse pad under this but that's okay it needs some more up on this side here so Cheryl sent me a link to a little, you know, one of those little air conditioner things, desk air conditioner. I haven't been to town for a couple weeks. When I go, I'm going to look and see if I can get one. Maybe, depending on, I have to go to Menards. We need dish soap. I like to get the Dawn dish soap in a refill thing at Menards. Uh, I need something else at Menards. I forgot what it was. I wrote it down, though. Okay, we're going to do this right, right in here, I think. Right there. And I'm going to practice what I wanted to say here. And it's, I think... From what I understand from watching Lindsay, the frugal crafter, she does a lot of stamping. It's not how hard you press. Well, you want to press. You want to make sure that your rubber is hitting the paper. But it also has to do with giving it time for the ink to absorb into the paper. And it helps if you have a... Oh, I got double lines there. Oh, well, that's okay. Actually, I think I like this one better. Because that's got, I forgot that I had lines on there. That's disturbing to look at. I'm going to use this one, but that's got, well, I guess I'll use it. <laughs> I guess I'll use it. So let's grab a, if I can find one, a pen to write with. And I wanted one of those, one of these, to, to write. All right, February, what did I say it was? February the, third. Three, um, 19, I think it was 59. I say that stuff and then I got to go check again. 1959. Now it'll look better over here. Um, I'll put Tuesday. I think it'd look better if I'd print it. February 31959. Let's, let's, I, that, 
I can hardly see what I'm doing on that. Let's do another one. I want to figure out what I want to say. I wanted to refer to the fact that this is a fictional story. And because I'm making up a lot. I'm making up a lot. This is going to be her keepings journal. Now, how do I want to say that? Tuesday, February 3rd, 1959. I got that down. Keepings journal of Aletha M. King. Uh, Alexia, not Aletha, Alexia M. King. And I'll say... Um, fictional, I should say fictional character, Alexia M. King. I'm going to write on this one first. So, I'm going to print Tuesday, February 3rd. I don't have enough room. 1959. I'm going to put this across here and put Tuesday down there. Keepings Journal of Alexia. Let me see if I spell it. Alexia, is that how I'm... Keep opening this letter. Alexia, A-L-E-X-I-A, -E you're Alexia and nearly wife and honey, <laughs> nearly wife and honey, of Alexia, and I'm just pulling M. King off of the, ad the self-address, M. King. Oh, I'm going to put fictional. Fictional. This is test here. Fictional. Should I say story or character? Fictional story. Fictional character. I want I want to refer to the fact that I'm making a lot of this up. Um, then I think I'll put some stars here and created by Mary Dell Abrams the Mary Mary, M-E-R-I, A-T-E-L-I-E-R. And then I'll put July 2023. I think that's good. That's a good, a, a nice explanation. So I'm going to use one of these. We'll use the Sharpie. So, February 3rd, nineteen fifty nine Tuesday. And I'm just going to put three stars there. Keepings Journal. And I don't put have to put of. And then put Alexia M. King. 
and then I'll put three stars here. And then down here I'll put created. Oh, I put fictional. I guess I'll leave fictional character off. Created by... Mary Dell Abrams. The Mary. Atelier. July. And I want to tell you, if you're in here, 2023, and I miss saying hello to you, if you say hi and I don't answer you back or i miss seeing you know that you're welcome in here i don't i don't catch everybody as they come in i feel bad that i don't catch everybody and this i'll just save for test paper now let's do, 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 do. let's get out Let's see if I can find it here. What do I have? I'm looking for some mustard. And I think I have some out here. I just have to find it. Mustard. There's blue denim. There's this color. That's blue. Come on. Oh, and of course it falls. Let me pick these up. And of course what fell was what I was looking for. This. Hold the phone. Let me put these back before I drop everything. Okay, I just want to kind of color it out a little. This is wet enough. I can smear it with my finger. And I'm thinking that because I know Johnny read some of those letters. I didn't catch her stream where she read those letters. And I'm thinking she probably had a batch of Alexia's letters. But now, what I'm thinking, though, is these came from him. Because this probably went to him in South America. Because if they were still in her position, possession, unless they eventually got married... And it's left from, from her, maybe her estate or their estate. And I'm thinking they probably came in a pack. And it would be really interesting if somebody else got the, you know, got some matching letters. I think that would be fun to, to know, to put together some of the story. But I don't know who bought the other, bought the other kits. And I don't know what letters were in there. I'm sure she probably sent me a less risque one. <laughs> but it would be nice to know if, he, if they got married, wouldn't it? All right, that kind of pops that out. Now I want to put that in here. I think I want to put it right in here. 
and of course I glued the but maybe I can get it up enough that I can have it overlapping like that if I pull this up a little more and glue it down a little more <laughs> That ink is wet. I'll glue this back down. Like that. Up like that. Oh, it needs to come over more. I'll probably have to take this whole thing off. See, I, I do these as I think about them, and then I have to backtrack and redo stuff. <laughs> there. That's a little better. There, and I like how it overlaps. So we're going to put that down. Do, 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 do. I tell you, they shut off fireworks last night. They were so pretty. And I noticed that the as the fireworks were going off, if you look at them, what makes the fireworks so pretty is there are sparkles in, let's see, how did I call that? Sparkles in, uh, hmm. Well, I'll have to think of what I was saying. Because I had two, two words, sparkles and glitter, shimmer. Sparkles and shimmer, I think is what I was saying. And the sparkles are thicker kind of little nodules of light. And then the glimmer are all the little pieces. And as it explodes in the sky, some of them just literally, as we looked up, it was just like little clusters of flowers that were raining down on us. And of course, they didn't touch us at all. Uh, they went high enough that they went out before they got done. But when they do something like that, it's just for a couple of, of almost a couple of seconds. And then they all go out. <laughs> I can move this over just a teensy bit more. So I got a little bit of a border over here, right in there. And then we'll glue that down, and we'll glue this back down. And we're going to call this a Keepings Journal of Alexia. So what are you all going to do for the 4th? The 4th isn't actually until Tuesday. I want to mow the lawn tomorrow. It's We've had rain here, so the grass is tall. And I want to get out there and do it before it gets too wet. There we go. Let me refresh my screen. Come out and welcome folks in. I see Riri. Hi, Riri. Welcome. Sharon, is that Sharon Lombard? Hi, Sharon. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sharon says, I'm trying to play tag with Nikki and watch at the same time. <laughs> Is Nikki a cat or a dog or a child? Allie Kay says, hi. Hi, Allie Kay. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a little tea here. So it's kind of fun to imagine what their life might have been like. And she gave a lot of clues in that letter. All right. Now, I have to make sure I didn't glue the page down here. Uh, and this is actually a flip page here. And we could say she studied shorthand in college. Maybe she was going to teach it. She was going to be a business teacher. I don't know how I'm going to refer to 1908. What was her interest in these dresses? These are yours. Won't you write for them? It says, these are yours. Won't you write for them? Our book, New York Fashions, together with 
samples of new spring materials. Let me put this away. So I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip this for now. And uh, let's see. Let's work with. I got it out here. Let's work with this. Now I don't really think that I'm going to. I could do some slow stitching on it. So let's just take a piece. Maybe this could be her dream home here. Maybe you could write, she could say, I would love to live in a cottage by the side of the road. And we'll snip that off. Let's snip that off. I'm just making this up as I go. I have no idea where it's going. This will become something in here. And now, um, I don't want to lose this let's put it I think I'm fairly done with this as far as getting information for now put this back inside this is her letter to Harry I'm thinking that they got together and got married because she mailed this to Harry so it was no longer in her possession. Received February 8th, date dated February 3rd and February 10th. I'm not sure it might be received February 8th and February 10th. So if she mailed this to Harry, it was in his possession. So this either came from Harry's keepings or her keepings, and it came back to her. I'm not sure. This might have not come back to her. This might be Harry's. <laughs> this might be Harry's letter. From Harry's world. Maybe Harry passed away and that's how it came to Johnny. <laughs> I don't know. I'm hoping that they aren't alive anymore because I would hate to... Well, honestly, I'm not giving away too much of their life. I'm just kind of... of uh, using their that letter as a basis for this journal. I'm looking for, I could use some of this, and hold on, I'm looking for, I'm looking for this. We're going to do a little bit of stitching on there, but I think I'll put a piece of lace. Might as well use it if I bought it, huh? I also got collection number three. I haven't received it yet. And it will probably come later this week. Where's that red? Let's go for this red. Isn't this pretty? Ooh, that's beautiful. She likes beautiful things. Alexia does. All right, how am I going to do this, though? I got too much stuff crowding in on me. Crowding in on me. I'm only going until 10 o'clock tonight. 
just so you guys know. That could be Harry. Harry. Or her brother. We'll have to name her brothers. All right. I want to do some stitching on here. And I need a decent needle. And these are curved needles. And I keep you know, maybe one of these. Maybe this one. This one might be, I might be a little small, but we'll see. I really bought this to tat with, but I'm not experienced enough of a tatter to use even size 8 thread. Is this a size, what does it say? Cotton pearl. This is... No, it's 10 gram. Yeah, this is size 8. 8S, it says. But I, I like the thicker threads to tap with. I'm just not experienced enough yet to, to use the thinner, more delicate threads. I need to do some more tatting. See if I can thread this needle. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah, we'll do the lace later. I like to double my threads too. Whoops. And I found my Daniela Mellon packet that I made, but I've only got two months done. And I'm still, I did a, I think February's prompt was map. And I did a brain, brain, uh, what do you, uh, mind map. I did a mind map and I embroidered it and it's around here someplace, but if I catch up, I think for July, the prompt is game. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Shall I put, I like hanging threads. Let's put a little knot over here. I like my threads to hang. I, I understand people that sew, when they see hanging threads like this, they see it as, oh, click those threads, and crocheters too, they click the threads, but I, in art, I like them to hang. Let's see if I can make a little knot in here. Hi, Becky. She said, I just got back from visiting Scott's mom. Welcome, Becky and Riri. Oh, and there's Deborah, River City Creative. Hi, Deborah. Oh, it's good to see you. Welcome. And we have several new people. Elizabeth from Argentina. Romero, I think. Uh, Elizabeth, are you Romero or is Romero somebody different? I think they're both from Argentina. I could be wrong. But if if you're new, was there an Angela in here too? Uh, but it's good to see you guys. Let's see, who else am I missing? Sharon Lombard, Allie Kay, Riri, Kelly was here. Fictional story based on an actual character. Yes. Uh, Nina said her battery was getting low. Made me had to go check mine. <laughs> now I lost chat. Hold on, let me get my chat back. Come on. There it is. How is Scott's mom? I saw where you did a video on your garden shelf book. I haven't got a chance to watch it yet, though. We, we were gone. We did our 4th of July. I'm just going to do a little running stitch here. I'm going to go around this five cent piece. Oh, 
what did I do here? I always catch it the wrong way. Just get those hanging threads out of the way there. There. Becky said, the bookshelf will get painted tomorrow. Woohoo! She's so ready to put the books in it. That's cool. Well, I pulled the, of the computer desk here, I pulled the top drawer out to remove ink pens, and I pulled the whole front of the top drawer, not the, one, the, not the desk I'm working on, the desk behind me. I pulled it completely, I pulled the front of the drawer completely off. So my brother did put that back together for me. And this is just a running stitch. It's nothing fancy, but it's a little slow stitching. So this fictional character is that we're doing her, keeping, her keepings journal dated February the 3rd, 1959. And I'm basing it out of things that I read out of that letter that she wrote to Harry. And I'm thinking she's probably a college graduate. And I'm thinking based on her information in her letter, she met Harry through her brother. And it sounds like they both worked on thesis. So he's probably a little bit older than her. And we know that he's down in South America. We know the name of the town now and the capital and the region. He's down in South America. But what I don't know is if he's um, from South America and just studied up in maybe Denver or if he is from Denver and traveled down to South America, maybe for some education study or something for the thesis. Maybe he's doing research. Um, but it sounds like she talks about the palace. The palace is beautiful in there and she's reading up all about the area where he is there. And it sounds like he might be working for the government. I don't know. But she says the palace is beautiful. Maybe she just saw the palace. And, um, you know, said, oh, that's a beautiful palace. Let's see. I think I'm going to see there's a little diamond shape here. There's the five cent shape up here. I don't want to get this so tight that it's pulling on my thread. I want to get keep my thread Keep my fabric flat. Woohoo! Becky's getting the bookshelf painted tomorrow. Uh, they're saying hello. Do 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 do. Are any of you gonna go? watch fireworks are you done with them from them blowing them off around every now and then we hear a pretty loud firework we saw some well we had fireworks at my nephew's house last night and pizza but as we were driving home we saw fireworks and they had saturday night seemed like a big night in town because jerry spady which is a car dealership they sponsored a big fireworks show and there were fireworks in the park and i don't know what they're going to do on the fourth <laughs> they shot off all their fireworks and then the neighbors in my nephew's neighborhood they were shooting off fireworks so it was it was a fun deal my little niece she's growing up she's growing up 
she's learning to drive she's already picked out the kind of car she wants a jeep i hear i hear that she wants a jeep or a bronco or something like that she's only 12. <laughs> She better start saving her money, but she babysits now. She babysits, so she's earning some of her own money. She'll have to save that for... This is a house here. goes like this. This is a little cottage house. And I'm just putting a running stitch around there. could be a different color, but it, it, it kind of blends in. And I was going to put that lace on it, too. We'll just finish this. So it's kind of fun to put this together around a fictional character. We could have her be a resident of Fib Diggity. Uh, she's from Denver, but maybe we could work her into our Fib Diggity community somehow in here. That's a tree. I feel like this needs something more. I might edge this fabric with maybe a white or something to make it stand out a little bit more. I feel like it needs more. Let's put... Because I'm just playing. This is just playtime. It's fun to do something like this and not really have to worry about is it real, is it, you know... Is it perfect? I don't like to have to worry about all that stuff. Let's get that other little strings out of the way here. And pull this one tight. Not too tight. Yeah. I'm going to just clip it off there. Give this back to Penelope for the moment. I think I need to edge this. So it'll pop out a little bit more. So what I'm going to do. Put this up here. Ouch. And let's grab. Oh, Lord. The more I clean, the more I can't find anything. Uh, now, let's get a, a scrap paper. I'm going to have to buy some more copy paper. I'm using up all my brother's 8.5 by 11 papers. I just want to put this here. I'm going to edge this. And I got this, too. It's a little bit wider than what I was thinking, but we'll see. And let me grab. Oh, I have to stand up. We'll grab this. I could also do a yellow. I don't have, I don't buy much yellow. I might have some here. Let's see, I've got gold, but I don't, here I got this brushed metallic. It's matte. It's matte. Let's do it in, this brushed metallic is a matte paint. I don't want anything sticky. And where's that towel? Let's see what I have here. And I don't care if my paintbrush is a little dirty because it'll just be yumminess on the edge if it gets any black on it. Let's shake this up.
Mina says, Tucson has a big firework display on a mountain. You watch from your driveway. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we were out in the driveway. Elizabeth says, where are you from? Elizabeth is from Argentina. I don't know who you're talking to, Elizabeth, but I'm in Nebraska, kind of in the South Central uh, United States, Nebraska. And I'm, I'm kind of uh, down by the Kansas border in a little town, a little rural town. That doesn't show up much either. I think I'll use the white. Let's shake that. It sort of shows up, but not enough for it to pop out for me. Let's see what I can do here. We're actually, Elizabeth, we're from all over the place. That's the, the joy of the internet. I, it just amazes me that while I'm in the United States, in the middle of the country, you guys are down in Argentina. And, you know, it, we can talk to each other in real time. We don't have to. It just, it's a, the fun of the internet. Couldn't do that 30 years ago. <laughs> That's a little more like what I want. I kind of want it to pop out along the border here. And this journal, I feel like the journals, I've made so many journals and I've done you know, we we do napkins, we do so many different things with our journals that I'm ready for my journals to start telling stories. So it is a story of a fictional character based on a real person that lived that letter. And I'm just pulling out information from that letter about what it was like for her to live back then, you know, she's going to the delicatessen and she's going to get some Virginia baked ham and slaw for supper, she told, she told Harry. And uh, we know her brother studied with him and they became friends. And I think that's probably how, I'm just surmising that that's how she met him. It was probably through her brother. And he's down in South America now, and she's writing to him down in South America. This is kind of gathered here, but that's okay, too. And she likes to read. She's been down, she's been to the library, and she checked out a book telling all about South America, where he's from. And don't ask me to pronounce the names, because... <laughs> I can hardly speak English. But I'll write them when I journal. But this is her keepings. This is her keepings. And I'm thinking she probably... We know her brother was in college. And I found a picture, a black and white picture, that looks like a lady is graduating. And I'm going to call that her graduation picture. It looks like she might have graduated. And uh, just from the tone of her letter, I think she's wanting to know where their relationship is going. All right. This is kind of soaking in on me. Let's see if I can pour just a little paint in there. I kind of want it a little bit brighter. I'm just going to keep adding white to this. just around the border. And we picked our, my brother picked his first zucchini today. 
it's sitting out there on the kitchen counter and my little peppermint mints that we planted on in april they're still baby plants but they're growing pretty soon i'm going to have to transplant them and my zinnias are coming up that laura sent me a whole bunch of zinnia seed and i want to transplant some of those and i went out and checked the ones that i transplanted eight of them the other day because I've never transplanted zinnias before. They Usually you just throw that seed in the ground and it grows. But I planted them kind of thick and they're giant zinnias. And uh, so I'm transplanting some. I'm going to keep this brushed metal out. I'll put the white over here for now. So. Not too bad. This is going to go. In here. She wants to. She wants to live in a cottage by the side of the road. But that's certainly not Denver. <laughs> That's not Denver, although it could be a suburb. I've seen some pretty suburbs in Denver when I, I lived in Littleton in the 80s, 1980s. It could still be a cottage by the side of the road. Now, once I put this down, I think I'll darken around the edge there. And I could put a piece of lace, maybe put it down there. Let's do this next, and I'm going to put it down with tape. Let me, let me refresh chat. I get off in my own world here. Becky says she's from South Carolina, an hour and a half north of Charleston. Hi, Chris. Chris is from Mexico. Welcome, Chris. Glad to have you join us. Lisbeth says she's from Argentina. She's from Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. Argentina? Wow. Mina says, these past few years, though, I've skipped them. She's talking about fireworks because my cat gets spooked. I put on the radio and he jumps up to feel safe on my lap. Mina's in Tucson. She says, Tucson has a big fireworks display on a mountain. I watch from my driveway. So we're for all from all over, Elizabeth. Elizabeth is from Argentina. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right, let's put this in next. Uh, I'm just going to put it in with tape. I kind of like it on the back. <laughs> it shows better on the back, doesn't it? It feels, I feel like I need to frame this a little bit more. Um, yeah. See if I can. Look, I got all these scrappies. Let's move this for a minute while I'm doing that. I'd really rather have a thicker one. Make this pop out a little. This says rawberry. Uh, oh, strawberry. I covered up the S. It's Rawberry. <laughs> R-A-W instead of S-T-R-A. Oh, I like that better. Yeah. 
Okay, then let's see. Let's go back to the book. Now this has the dark around there, but I still like to maybe do something around in there. We'll see. Let's go ahead and put it down. I'm gonna put on here I'm gonna put her note. Someday I'm gonna live in a cottage by the side of the road. That's her note, her just her keepings journal. Let's see if this will stick down and we're calling her a fictional character based off of that letter and if you read between the lines you can get a lot of information from her we know what street she lived on in Denver we know where Harry is we know that Harry and her brother, uh, she might have named her brother in there. I'll have to see. She, We know that her brother and Harry studied together, worked on their thesis together. So we know that they're college age, maybe just out of college. We know she likes to read. We know he's down in South America. I'm going to have to see if I can get this up. I probably should have just glued it down. Right? Yeah. I might have to pull this tape up and just glue it in. I don't know why I didn't do that. Yeah, I'm making a mess out of that. Let's see if I can get any of the others up. I'm just going to pull this off because it's not working for me. I may be able to use it on. Because it's pulling. I may be able to still use it. I'm just going to put it off over here to the side. I'm going to glue it on. That was the wrong thing to do. This is how you learn. You guys are probably saying, Mary, that isn't going to work. <laughs> now I can peel it right off. It's still sticky on the back. I got it all peeled off for another Now this is, we have to, in our imagination, we know that she is, this is her keepings journal. So it's going to be from her perspective. Like over here on this shorthand page, I think she's going to say, I took a shorthand in high school and college. I'm going to teach it or something like that in preparation for teaching. I don't know what her career was. We're going to maybe. And where did she go to school? In Denver? Uh, what school was in Denver in 1959? University? Denver, what, Broncos? Ah. Uh. All right, one and done here. We want it to go right about here. Yeah, right about there. Oh, that worked much better. <laughs> and I love the idea of putting that foam rubber on the side of this bottle. That was Arlene's. So she said, I saw somebody do that. One of my friends did that. 
I was struggling with keeping track of that. Now, I think before I do that, I want to take my pen. And what do we want to do? Let's... Oh, I might have to... And will it go through? It'll go through a little. It'll be all right. Um, there we go. And we're going to put this down. This all came from Johnny. Uh, Johnny sold from, for somebody the other night. This isn't Johnny's stash. This is, I think her name was Donna. You can correct me if I'm wrong. And then down here, I'm going to put a note. She's going to say, um... Someday I'm going to live in a cottage, in a house by the side of the road and be a friend to man. A little sampler thing. Okay, well, we're going to put this right in here. And I think I'll put little dabs on here. And I'm putting the pin back in. I'm going to put it right. Well, it could go up a little, but there it is. That's where I put the glue. So, now, this comes through a little, so if I, I might put a piece of fabric or something on here, because I want to write on here. Someday... This is her wish. Someday I will live in a house by the side. of the road and then I'm just gonna sign it um what is her name <laughs> Alexia Alexia M King and I'm just gonna put Alexia There. I like that. It's kind of her dream. Um, I feel like I need to dress this up a little. This is just her, her wish, her dream. And she probably ended up in a house in the suburbs and 
three kids. Or she might have went to Argentina for, or not Argentina, to South America. So, this letter is dated February 3rd, 1959. So let's, we know that she met, or we think she met Harry through her brother, because they, Harry and her brother worked on their thesis together. So I'm thinking she graduated from college maybe in 1958. So that means she studied. Maybe she went to business school. No, she has a graduation picture. She could have graduated with a cap and gown at from business school, but I'm going to say she graduated, what is it, the University of Denver in 1958. And so she studied shorthand. This is my shorthand, but you know what it says here? Let's highlight that. It says, however, take the essential steps to make your dreams come true. Let's, let's, let's see. However, that's what this says right here, right in there. However, Take the essential steps that, are, no, take the steps that are essential. Steps that take the steps that are essential. To make your dreams come true. Oh, come true is down here. <laughs> to make your dreams ah, come true. Come true is going to go off to the side. This is probably what she'd do if she didn't have space. Come true. And I'm going to put uh, Alexia studied shorthand in preparation in, in college in preparation of becoming a teacher. I don't know that she really did, but my fictional Alexia studied shorthand. Right, do I have her name right? Alexia. Yeah, Alexia. Alexia studied shorthand in college. Um As, let's see, I'm going to say, in preparation for, in, uh, not preparation, well, I'll say in preparation for a business degree, in preparation of a business uh, we'll put BFA, Bachelor, uh, what is it? Um, I'm just a business degree. There. That didn't come through at all over there. That's good. And here are some of the... Sh 
enjoy, deposit, perfect, engage, initial. And then you were supposed to make it enjoyed, deposit, teen, ing. You're supposed to write the words to change deposit to depositing and perfect to perfect, engage to engaging, initial to initials. The key to these drills appears on page 41. Self-check. At this point, complete self-check 8 on your pad of self-checks. Compare your work with the key in your transcript. Section 8. Section 8. So there we've got that. Now... I'm going to leave this so we put in we put in tabs here these little lace pieces I got it Johnny's sale there's a tab down here we put in the tabs so this first is kind of her background what her dreams are uh, what she's studying maybe we'll put some quotes in there this section of blank papers did I tape it together here? Glue it together. My glue was still wet. What do I have here? Hold on. Let me separate this. Because I do things on the fly and it, it glued these two together. There we go. In here I'm going to do some sketching. Maybe some writing. Uh, in here... On the last, we're going to put in photos, and we'll have a section for, of her and Harry in one of these sections. Uh, let's work on the father tab, because somebody in Johnny's stream says, what can you do with these big um, flashcards? And Johnny showed where you could put them in half. And put them as a so back in here where the family section is going to go. The last one, this is going to be family. We're going to put father in here. Maybe. Look, this wax paper, I think, took that marigold dye better than the, the paper. Well, these took pretty good over here. But they're not quite as dark. I was really amazed that the wax paper seemed to seep up or hold on to that dye a lot better. We're going to put the father tag in here. Maybe right on this because it needs some. And we have a photo. Let's see. I thought I had a photo of her father that I said would be good for her dad. Let's look at our photos. We could put this somewhere in the back, this date due and all of that. And I could journal too that this is a fictional character and do it a little bit, expand it a little bit more. Did I get all those photos? I think I did. And maybe I'll use some of this on this page. Yeah. It says confidential. Yeah. Where does it end here? We could actually find the page here. And fold this this way. And where does this end? Right here. Excuse me while I crinkle paper here. Right in there.
Oh, let's tear. Let's tear this here. Was it there or there? I think it's here. Oh, is it coming tear? And we're going to put this on here, like so. I got all these folders in the way. Like that, and it'll fold over, and we'll fold this over. Like that. And we'll put something down in there. Just like that. Kind of like that. And then father could actually go, hopefully. Oh, it just fit. It could stick out a little because these are going to stick out. Let's see how it sticks out. How much? It kind of adds some. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I might do some more of those. So let's go ahead and put this down. Let me look at chat. I want to welcome you all in. And if I miss saying hello to you, know that you're still welcome. No, you're welcome. Hi, Cal Calico Kate, Kathy Cowell. Welcome, welcome. Riri says, I can see the fireworks here from my desk. Easy. Wow. Hi, Sherry Van. Welcome, Sherry, Riri. Welcome, ladies. I'm working on this ledger. I'm making an, a, a fictional keepings book based off that letter that was in this kit. This is collection. Uh, I got this from Johnny at Junk Journal Shop. And uh, would somebody, one of the mods, put in a link to Johnny's channel? You can do it at the channel level. Um, she's doing, she's not doing the studio box kits that she did last year she's putting together what she calls journal collections and this is journal collection one and i decided rather than just making it quotes or you know that i'm going to base it on a story so the story is about uh alexia m king and that's actually the name that was on that letter but I'm hoping, I'm, I'm calling her that name, but it's really, and it's kind of based off of her letter, but all the story of the journal, this is going to be her keepings, keepings of Alexia, I think I'll just say, of Alexia. And then I made a, I put a book plate in here that came with the, and this is my marigold dyed paper here. This facing page came with the kit. And most of the papers in here came with the kit, except for marigold paper that I dyed off of my marigolds, which I still have some sitting in the pot. I need to strain it out. Um, it did pretty good. Uh, the dyed papers did pretty good, but I think the wax paper did the best. Uh, this is... This is glued down. Oh dear, I glued it on to when I glued this in. We'll just tear it. That's what she would do. There. And I got a little glue here, it looks like. That's actually kind of cool. No, we're just going to open it up. So I think my wax papers actually took the dye better. I could be wrong. This is wax paper here. So I'm going to try some walnut dye with just wax paper. And I might go out and grab some plants and see if the plants 
stick. See, this, these stick pretty good onto these papers. So I might do some walnut dyed paper, but I won't be putting them in here. So that's what this is all about. It doesn't have a closure yet. We're still telling the story. And these little pieces here, which I'm using as divider tabs, um, came from Johnny's sale. I think her name is Donna, and I think she's from Australia, but I, I don't really know her that well, so I could be wrong on all of that. Uh, but we're thinking that, I'm, I, in my head, I'm saying that she... She went to the, was it the University in Denver? And I know she's from Denver. And she studied shorthand in college in preparation of a business degree. And she met Harry through her brother because he, he and Harry, her brother and Harry worked on the, their thesis. So her brother is her older brother. And she says, someday I will live in a house by the side of the road. And the rest of us being a friend to man, but I couldn't get it on there. <laughs> so I'm working on the father page down here. I'm working on father page. What do I do with it? And this section is all going to be family. And where's father? He's over here. So I'm going to use this tape that I saved over here. Let's see if I can get it off. And we'll just put it on here. This is wax paper. No, this is Don, Johnny's tissue paper. This came from Johnny. It. This came in the library kit that she did last year, and she stamped all this off. It says napkins. I'll put something else over that. She put napkins in this little, this was an envelope holding napkins. Let's see. I don't think I need anything there. I need it here. And maybe up here. And... Here. And here, and I need another piece. Where's my tape? Oh, I throw things around here, and I can't find my tape. I think I have another one over here. Maybe I threw it over here when I... And... Uh, I think I'll put a piece here. Whoops. Let me refresh my chat. Hi, Lucy! Lucy, did you do these? Was it you that did these? I got them from... Lucy's from Australia. Did you do these? Hi, Paula Loves Art. Did I buy these from you at Johnny's sale? I know... No, I think you were sending stuff to Johnny. Uh, and Jean. J9, Janine. I think it was Donna that made these. Easy, Paula. Lots of YouTube videos out there. Paula says, hello, Mary. Calico Kate says, I've been coffee dyeing in jelly pan. pan. She said, no, it was Donna from Australia. I'm from Canada. Oh, you're from Canada. Oh. Thank you, Lucy, for filling me in on that. I don't know a lot of people that go to Johnny's. I, I know some of them. But it, there's, you know... Her community is still kind of new to me. A lot of you guys are new. You're from Canada. Okay. 
Uh, I'm still having trouble getting this off. Let's try it. Let's try it. There we go. And I suppose I should do these first. Paula says, hi, Lucy. I often think binding them would be hard and is part of what keeps me from starting. Oh, the journal kits? Well, um, I wanted to bind this journal the way that Johnny did it because I wanted to learn her method. And I did struggle a little with it. And it's not perfect. But I'm going to, of the journals that I get from her, the collections that I get from her, I'm going to do them her way because I want to learn. And if you don't just jump in and try it, you got to um, say it's not going to be perfect. Uh, you know, Johnny's made so many of them that, uh, you know, she has her, her style of doing them down pat. And she makes beautiful journals, you guys. She makes beautiful journals. I can't afford them, but I can afford the kits. And I learned so much from doing this. Get this up. Lucy said, start easy and simple, Paula, with one signature pamphlet stitch. Yeah, that's a good point, too. Lucy has a good point. Leah says, Mary, you did a beautiful job on it. Well, the black signature got a little loose on me. It got away from me, but it, that's because it was shorter. And, uh, yeah, it, it got a little loose. But I I taped it down, so I think it's gonna, it's strong now. But will it stay strong? I don't know. I'm having trouble getting this piece off. Come on. Yeah. Okay, we're going to put <laughs> this down first. And I'll probably get it down crooked. We'll see. Um, yeah, it's not going to fit total. It has to come up to there. Yeah, it'll fit if I get it as straight as I can. Oh, and of course, I've got crinkles and wrinkles. Because it's tissue paper. We'll just have crinkles and wrinkles. So tag will go over that anyway. I kind of like it wrinkly. It will be what she would have. Now, let's make sure that I'm not gluing all my pages together. Now, let me turn this. And I think I'll do these two next. What did I do with that pen? And we can use this one. I put it in here, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, they're shooting out fireworks and somebody's shooting them off next door. Celebrating our liberties gosh they were saying some of those fireworks a hundred dollars i suppose the finale ones thirty dollars for a firework shoot up shoot your money away i don't know i could think of some art supplies i'd buy <laughs> uh, uh. 
I did, you guys, I bit the bullet and bought an eco printer. It's going to come next week. And the only reason I did it is because it was on sale. And uh, Johnny, and was it you, Lucy, I think, that were talking about them? And you guys, cons you, you convinced me. And I told Johnny um, I wanted to order, I wanted her to print me off some dates of year 2000 through year 25. And I told her, I messaged her after the stream. Oh, you know what? I think I doubled this. Oh, let's pull this up. I think I can still get, well, this will have tape on it. If I can. Let's take this. Just put this here for now. Kind of fold that under. I did this wrong. But anyway, I told her, I messaged her after the, her stream and said, you know, please charge me for, she said she'd do some dates for me. The, um, the years. And I messaged her after the stream and said, be sure you charge me. And then I mentioned, I said, I think I'm going to get an eco printer. And she messaged me back a link that Amazon had them on sale. And it does borderless printing. That was the big factor. Um, I did learn something, though, about sublimination printing. You guys may know what that is. But... Uh, Epson, their printers, you want to be careful before you buy sublimination ink and convert your printer to print sublimination. Um, it's like if you want to print and transfer it over to like a t-shirt or a piece of wood. They call that sublimination printing. And the Epson printers will do it, but once you convert your especially this one, the model I got was a 2800. It says if you convert your printer to do sublimination printing, it voids the warranty. And I'm going, oh no, I don't want it to void the warranty. So you have to be careful, I think, when you're ordering your ink that you don't get sublimination ink because I think that's a part of converting it over. And then you, I think you have to have special paper, too. And I don't really want to do that. That's right at this point. I could think of some neat things I could do, but I don't want to void the warranty. So I'm not going to do that. You can order printers that are made to do sublimination printing. But I want mine just... Well, I wanted the EcoTank because... Uh, I don't want to pay those high prices for what did I do with that pen? I had it here. Did I put it back in the... Yeah. So I have a printer here in this room. It's an HP inkjet that I've never set up. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I may set it up and see if I can get it to going. But I, I think I'd rather, ha I don't want to have to continually buy, you know, ink cartridges. And Johnny says that ink, when you fill those tanks, she said she does a lot of printing because she puts stuff in her kits and, you know, she does it as a business. But she said, for you guys, that ink will last you a long time. So, and then just listening to Lucy and Johnny, talk about it. No, that's not even going to stick on there. I just don't want it to stick to the paper. So I kind of... The Amazon Prime Days or the 11th and 12th, I don't think I'll... I have some gift certificates that I could spend, though, so if I see something that... I have a couple of $25 gift certificates of my own. 
if I see something I really want, I can use them. And you, you know, you have to add a little bit more, whatever you buy or less. I'm not really wanting anything from Amazon. I bought some shampoo. <laughs> I like that uh, tea tree shampoo. Tea tree. I use that. Rhonda got me on to using it. And that's pretty expensive stuff. Would you buy this set? $25, $30. $15 to $18 each. But I like it on my hair because I've got a, I've got a dry, I've got dry skin, and I've got a dry scalp, and it, it, it's good on my hair. I'm not getting this up. Come on. There it goes. And I suppose I should put a little piece right in there. So we're doing the father page. Now, I don't know much about her father when she didn't mention her father. She mentioned her brother. But I'm doing a father page just because I have this. Oh, this is cool. I have, where did it go? I have this. And it's going to stick out a little, but I like it sticking out. I'm going to have to do something with the napkins there. Maybe I'll put a photo down there. Now, though, I, I want this to open up here, too. So I think what I'll do is score it here and glue this or tape it down. Uh, and, uh, yeah, like that, and score it here. And it will stick out, but it doesn't, it kind of adds some body to these tags here. It kind of adds a body to it. That's going to come out. But I want it. I want to be able to open this side up too. Maybe if I just glue it right in there. Let me mark this. Let me mark it. If I can find a pin. Oh, I don't want to mark it with this one. Oh, I do it with a pencil. So on here, I want to. I want this to open up. I don't want to put glue on there. I want it to open up and say "Father." So on this side is where I want to put the glue. Right? No, because that would be gluing it down. Where do I want to put the glue? Do I even want glue? I need a laundry pin. <laughs> Um, hmm, I don't think I want glue, so I want this to open up. If I glue it down, I'd have to glue it right in there, and that, hmm, I have to think about that. I could put a picture here. I could score it right there. Let's score that. Let's score it right here. With what? My I don't I've got a I don't think I have it out. My bone folder. 
No, it's here someplace. Let's score it with scissors. Because I think I'm going to attach it here, but not attach it there. Attach it down in here. So this will only open up so far. And before I do that, I'm going to do something with this. <laughs> that works. Let's put that down. Let's put it the other way. Like that. That kind of matches the inside. But you get that pin on there. Let's put the glue on here. And on here. I'll come out and look and chat here in a minute. I don't want it to say napkins on the father page. <laughs> Could say handkerchief. Now I'll put that right in there. There goes my ruler. I think I'll score it right. I got quite a bit. I'm gonna score it right, right there. If I score it, align my ruler up with these coins, I'll still have that much, and I think that'll be enough to hold it. Score with my scissors. Yeah, that works for me. And then I'm just going to glue. Just this little fourth of an inch. And I'm going to hope that holds. I'm going to make it clear down to the bottom. Let me bring it down. I'll come out and look at chat in a minute here. Well, I gotta get it up to my nose, sorry. All right, let's see how this holds. And see, it'll fold up this way, and I'll write Father here, or I think I'll get my stamps out. I have some blocks, little block stamps. I won't get them out tonight. We'll put father there. And then over here, I have father over here too. Now, how about this? Shall we take care of that with, let's see if I can get this off. Yeah. And I could put this, I've got some writing on here. Let's tear this. And I've got some writing, there's some printing on here. It'll go right in there, pretty good. Pretty good, I could bring that way up. So let's tear this. I'm having more fun with this. It's fun to make up a story as you go. 
just using the facts that I know about her from that letter. And this is going to be her keepings journal. And we're going to put this right down in here. And let's tear this a little better. Laura Vasquez gifted me this art glitter glue and Little Red Wagon gifted me refills. I am really, thank you. When I use stuff like this that people gift to me, if I remember who gifted me what, I'll mention them. I like to credit people who send me stuff. So, and... I'll say it, I'll announce it here tonight. I don't know when in July, but sometime in July, it'll probably be after the 19th, I'm going to have another 10-year giveaway in the evening to give the evening folks. And I'm not announcing it publicly other than in my stream here so you guys can hear. I like it to be for people who support my channel. Like, I'm not going to put it in my title and blah, 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 blah. And have people come in who are just there to get the good goods, you know. I like to have. And I thought that the first giveaway, we did it in the mor morning. And I thought it went well. Uh, Pam, Stitch It Pam, won the $50 prize. Becky won a $25 one. Karen K won a $25 one. Uh... Leah, I think you did. Uh, I think Leah won a $25 one. Let me get my chat back. So I gave away four $25 Amazon gift certificates. And I find that works well for me rather than trying to send happy mail because I just don't get the happy mail out. I feel so bad. And I thought, I'm not going to promise stuff I you know I promise so much that I haven't made good on my promise that I'm not going to do that with my 10 year giveaway I'm going to I know if Amazon they'll they'll get their and their their email gift certificates you have to you have to send me your address all right I'm pretty happy with that now let's choose a father photo. I think I picked some out here. I gotta get <laughs> room for my ruler here. I just have so much stuff piled up. There's my other tape. And let's see what I have. There's Father holding a can you guys see this let me hold it up it's pretty faded uh, this could be her father holding her as a baby and i think i had another one these are family this looks like a family reunion this is Maybe her brother went in the service, and this could be her and Harry. This looks like father and grandfather. Here's the graduation photo. That goes over on the other page. Here's this. I'm going to say she graduated from the University of Denver, and that could be her father. <laughs> But see, she's got dark hair, and on all these pictures, she has dark hair. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that one. I think I'm going to use this one. It's pretty faded, but this is her keepings journal. These are old photos. Let's see what else I have here. Um, that's just a Tim Holtz from the library. This one, I think, is Harry. Uh, let 
These are family. That's father and grandfather. This is a Johnny ephemera. Keep it in the park. That says Ruth. <laughs> that could be Harry again. This one of these could be father. That looks like father. Uh, I thought this one would be good <sighs> for living in this in Denver. Because look, cause see, there's city buildings. It's faded out over here. But I don't have to use that part, you know. This could be her living in Denver or working in Denver or going to school. It's a pretty small photo, but that's, you know, these are old photos. That's ephemera. That looks like her and Harry. <laughs> and this one, how does this one go? Oh, there's kids playing here on the steps. I don't know why I saved that one out. Here's her with grandmother and I'm not sure, maybe grandfather there. And this is a family one. And this one's torn. These look like Maybe her with her mother and her grandmother. So, I think I'm going to use these two for father. This says, Stuart at Altus. We're going to call her father's name Stuart. And this is father holding her as a little baby. Did I hold that up so you could see it? It's pretty faded. But I'm going to have to use it. And this, her father's name is Stuart. So let's go ahead and that might go better on the other page. We could put it like this. Father holding me as a baby. I don't, I don't know. Uh or I could trim it down a little. I hate to trim them because they're... I could just put it in here. Oh, I think I like it better up there. And then I could journal over here saying, this is my dad holding me as a baby. When I... Or dad holding baby... Dad holding baby Alexia. Old picture. I like that, but we need, let's get all of these out of the way. I need something around that. Except I wanted the graduation one. What did I do with it? We'll keep that one out. All right. And she's got a pen pal from Australia who sent her a kangaroo doily. Uh, I'm looking for something. Do I dare put some of that cloth on it? Could I? Or let's see. What do I want? Something like this. Oh, well, it's not quite wide enough that way. Ooh, there's her there's a house. Or maybe I got something else here too. I got that text fabric. What did I do with that? Threw it up here someplace. Start putting these in here. That goes with the photos. Let's put the photos in there too. Hold on. I gotta get these all 
over uh, in here in one batch because I'm going to get some more stuff out. And I got too much stuff over here. This, this and this can go back and this can go back in the lace package. Oh, which is falling open. <laughs> uh, it's probably folded up in there real nice and neat and Mary just stuffs it back in. And I got another piece sticking out over here. I'm looking for that other text fabric. Here someplace. Let me close up this bag. Here it is. Truthfully, I don't want to cover all this stuff up. I think it might be better if I just draw a line around it. It says confidential. Father. I'm going to put that on there. I don't want to cover up all the neat writing on her paper. So after all that digging... And I'm going to tape it down. Her father's name is going to be Stuart. This has a watermark on the back of it. I can't read it. Uh... Let me hold it up. You guys might be able to read it. Oh. It's very thin. No. It's pretty. Pretty. Illegible. This one says something. Can't make it out. T. Can't quite get it to focus in. That's okay. We're going to tape it down. <laughs> it's cool that it has a watermark on it. 1925. Now let's see. This is dated 1925. So. Let's see. Let me do a little math, Becky. Do some Becky math here. If uh, she wrote this letter in 1959, I said she graduated from college in 1950, did I say eight or seven? Let's say eight. Let's say she graduated from the university in 1958. That would make her a year before she's starting to think where that relationship with Harry is going. Okay, so let's say she graduated from college. Let's say she started college at 18. 1919. So if you subtract 19 from 1958, well, that would be 1948 and uh eight years, 1940, she would have been married, I mean, she should have, would have been married in 1940, so this is about 20 years off, because this is 1925, but let's say she was a year old in 1925, 1925, and let's add 18 to that would be 1943. So there's a gap in here if I go by this being 1925. 
So I'm going to leave that on there, but I'm going to say this photo is, uh, let's make me sure, let's say she went to, she started, well, she has four years in college, so she started college at eight, so it was, this would be 1954 when she started college, 1954, then you subtract 19 years, that's, 1945 she would have been born in 1945 if she's well and she looks about a year old there but we'll say she was born in 1945 that sounds about right and 19 the difference between 1959 and 1945 is 4 19 one oh that's 14 years what did i do here 1959 minus 19 that's not right i goofed here 19 oh that's four that's 1935 so make this a three she'd be 24 that sounds about right when she wrote um when she wrote this letter, she was about 24 years old. That sounds about right. I, I did my math wrong right in here. Yeah, I'm right now. So we're going to put dad, we're going to not call this 1925. We're off by about, what, 10 years? Where did I do my, I said she was born in 19... Uh, 35. We're off by about 10 years if we use 1925. So we're going to say, we're going to date this photo 1935. Baby Alethea and Dad. And it's an old photo, so that's why it's faded. She doesn't have a clear one of him. Do I have a tape there? No, that's that watermark. Sorry, I'm I'm uh, just doing this on the fly. I'm gonna bring it up just a little. See if I can't get it straight there. There. And I'll have to do more over here. I'm not going to do that page tonight. I'm going to, this is the graduation page. I had another father photo though. What happened to it? I guess I'll run across it when I run across it. Let's get these off my desk. Put that away. So, I think, let's see. We're going to take all of this and I'm going to put it back in the, what time is it? It's almost nine o'clock. I've got an hour. I still have something I want to do here. We're going to put all of this back in the bucket. I'm going to work on this just when I have the mood. Uh, maybe pretty constant because I do want to finish these and I want this to tell a story let's see what I have over here this is not going in there that's book band that'll go in there I got these little packages and Things are falling on me. These are the flashcards. I don't think I'll use all of these. I might use... Let's see if there's another good one I can use. And... Oh, there's an airplane. Something. And there's an airplane. There's a picture. Well, these all have pictures. No, that one doesn't. This one has a bow. 
a dress. Is that a wagon? A fire engine. A chicken. A hen. Ice cream. Bunny rabbits. It's like a top. Oh, we could use the hello one. Hop. Oh, there's my shoes. Slippers for Nancy Drew. It into pig. All right, we're going to keep the hello one out. Could use coat, too. I don't know about coat. For said caps, catch, boats. I just got these because she was selling them. I forget what she sold them for. Jump, splash comes, animal away. Maybe the away when Harry's in South America. We'll save those out. Something. Not that I'm going to use them, but I'll put these back in here. These are not going in the journal per se. These are just extra stuff I have. And that that this is trash celebrate and give you that stamp what I have up here that's for my journal okay so these, put this up here, put these up here, those really go in the, I got the laces out here, I don't want to open it up again. I need a band. This is the kangaroo from South America. Where that goes in there. That's part of her keepings journal. One of those ladies could be her Australian friend. This is just a Tim Holtz portrait that I had out. That was me figuring up. All right. This, if I can get them in here, this is more kit stuff. Um, I wanted to put this, this will go on there after I get it all filled. Uh, I wanted to put this tag in there. And I need to go through here and pick up, this could be her Australian friend, or this could be her mother, or this could be her at age 25, after she's graduated. I'm going to say that out. And this is all kit. Johnny sent this. These are the punch and the needle. We'll need those to do the others. And this is some of my other paper. Can I get all of this in here? That really doesn't go in there. I don't know if I can get all of this other in there. We'll see. Put it in here like that. Let's turn it this way. And the flashcards I think I'm going to have to keep out. We're going to put our graduation picture over here with the shorthand book. The talking about studying college. Uh, maybe over here someplace. 
put a graduation photo over here. Maybe in here. I'm going to just put it there for now. So what I want to do is show you, I'm going to sort through some more stuff. Put that up there for now. Um, some more stuff from Johnny. I've accumulated from several sales over the months. And I like to get out stuff like, this is from the library kit. I've bought several of Johnny's um, stash sales and and uh, kits from last year. This is all China. I don't. I won't do that. Here's some more ledger paper. I'm accumulating this ledger paper. I'm going to cut it in half and make a journal. This is all ledger paper. I'm not going to use this in this, but I'm just showing you. Uh, that's just a sack that, this is a sack from that, um, antique archaeology and where she bought those ledgers. And I bought this from her. And I'll go through that. I'm going to see if there's anything in here. There's another one. Anything in here that I want some flashcards, we'll go through those. And some more smaller flashcards I might be able to use. There's the laundry pins are in here. That's what I'm wanting are the laundry pins. And it looks like some fell out of the bucket there. I'm not going to empty them out. So. Well, maybe I will. We'll see. These are laundry pins and they're already in the holder. I might get some of those loose ones out. Let's put this out. I don't want these and I don't want the ledger pages. Hold on. I'm gonna go through the these can go back in the bucket. These are I'm just showing you these because I'm eventually gonna do a, a journal. And let's take this. And I might use these in collection three. I don't know. We'll see. We've already gone through this packet. So this is going to go back in the in the box. And I think I'm going to grab. Looks like my. Looks like they all fell out here. Let's just grab a packet here. These are laundry pins. They fell out of here. I got some loose ones down there. I'm not going to dig them out. I like to buy from Johnny because she has such unique things and they're original things. She has original stuff and that's why I like her. And Rosemary does too, you know. And she she also sells printables. Now, this is the library. I've already gone all through this and picked out of here what I want to put in there. So I'm going to put that back in the mailer box. And this is all Chinese, Oriental. I don't think there's anything Oriental that I want to put in here. Uh, this, wait, what's this? Is this Oriental too? Let's see if that's Oriental. Bank. I think this is all Oriental. Bank note. But it does look Oriental. Looks like it has Chinese writing in there. And this is the back of it. Yeah, it's Oriental. So I don't want any Oriental unless she's going to the Orient. <laughs> so I'm not after that. So let's look at this. I bought this. I don't know when I got it. Not too long ago. I think I won the offer up. What's this? Those are some napkins. I'm not sure if that's from Johnny or what. I'll put it in there. Ah, let's open this up. I don't think, I don't know. We'll see if there's anything in here I want to use. Oh, this is a, 
a journal, a cool journal, a leather one with a, a pen, a nice pen you can write in. That's not going in there. I'm just seeing if there's anything in here that I want to put in the ledger. Uh, this is from Ar Archaeology. Oh, there's this. Carnegie Institute. This could go in that ledger journal. I think I'll save that out. And... This says M.E. Abrams, General Merchandise. And this is so cool because um, my last name is Abrams. And this was a giveaway. I was so happy to get that. And uh, she, what she had of these were printables. I might see if I can do some printables. You can hardly read the Abrams here, but it says it on the other side. These are some playing cards. We'll look at those. These are some price tags. Uh, these are laundry pins, and that's a holder. I don't know if I want to do the price tags or not. I think I'll save one of them out. I got two of them. This says, look. Look. I'm going to put this back in here. Let's see if there's any of these cards. This is a name and address, phone number. We could use that. Let's open this up. I'm just looking for things that I that I want to put in there. I'm going to have enough, but, you know, we're building Alexia's story. Let's see what's in here. Let's save the name and address card out. Let's see what's on here. A duck. Biloxi, Mississippi. There's a kitty cat. Ducks, ducks. Ducks and ducks. And another kitty. Two kitties. And I'll save the queen of clubs. Two jacks. Now, let's just save the queen, and we'll save that out. And eventually, I'll put erasers in this box. That's what attracted me to the box. Uh, not so much, because I have a lot of this already. You know, I had laundry pins. And, but the box is so nice, and it'll hold erasers. Let's see what's in here. Look. Let's see if there's anything I want. Look. Uh, line. Crisp. Crawl. Animal. Strong. Oh. Sat. Sits. That. Sits back down this. I'm going to keep out the look one. It's fun just going through this and finding things that could build her story. Put these back in. And I think I'm done with this. I'll find a use for all of this eventually. going to put that back in the box. Should keep it out, but I need to put it back for now. All right. So, I've kept out hello away airplane and look. And the queen and an address card. I think you could put Harry's address on there. Some price tags. This Carnegie Institute. That'll go in there. Maybe in one of those pockets. 
This is just... I should make a transparent art journal page for that, too. Well, we'll do that. We didn't look at these. Quit! <laughs> uh, what is too big? What about, she said, out to look, will begin, looked out at, leaves that place, top of hill. I don't think any of these are calling my name for this journal. We'll put it back in the box. And just a bag. I'm going to do a... So we want to look at these and see what is there anything in here. Now I didn't buy these all at once. This is from several different sales, so don't think that <laughs> I do buy from her though. Tricks. What Belle had food. She likes food. Keep food out. Maybe do some recipes. Pie soda them c s c z says and says e o y um maybe i could do a recipe some recipe cards that she likes she likes virginia baked ham we know that she's going to the delicatessen for virginia baked ham and slaw from her letter she likes to read. She's been to the library, so I gotta do some library. She likes to write letters. She looks, she can type. She probably learned typing for her business degree. Lot lost crunching <laughs> crying. I like crying around. Stop friend said this could be for her Australian friend. Sing, fire, as, and things. <coughs> um, oh, crunching. Lost and lot. I think these were in that box, but I'm just going to put them in my main box. These were in the... The smaller ones were in that cigar box. So, I kept out... Friend, crying, and food, and the Carnegie, I'm going to do a transparent art journal page. I kept out an address card, the Queen of Clubs, look, airplane, away, and hello. And price tags. And laundry pins. <laughs> laundry pins. I'm going to double bag them. We'll put some laundry pins in there. All right. And we'll put this one in there just to keep it. So these, these are too big to go in that box. But these could go in the box. I don't know if I can get them in there, though. Well, let's see. The box is pretty crunched. <laughs> that I'm going to put in there. This I'll save out. Kitty. Look, the smaller ones will go in. Address card, food. I guess I could fold these because I'm going to fold them anyway. Oh, I've lost chat. Let me. My chat just goes away on me. Top chat. Welcome to everybody who's here. Paula says, this morning I saw someone who was sharing a haul that included a little cute journal made from business envelopes. From bills that included the glassine window. Ooh, cool. Paula says, uh, 
it was tea or coffee dyed, and I really got my attention for a cool way to repurpose. Oh, that's cool, Paula. I'd like to see what you do. Amber says, sounds cute, Paula. Paula says, thanks, Amber. It was really fine. It was really cute. Allie Kay. Hi, Allie Kay. Did I welcome you in? Welcome, welcome. Um, somebody sit on it. I think we're back to this. I'm going to fold these in half just so I can get them in the box. Because I'm going to fold them in half anyway like I did father. Away is when Harry goes to South America. We don't know why he's down there. I don't know if he's from South America and went home or if he's studying down there or if he's working with the government. We don't know why he's in South America. We might have to make up that part of the story. And this is going to be fictional. It's just inspired by that letter. Which... Uh, it is kind of a love letter, but it has so much other information in there that, you know, that's interesting. Like, I know she likes to read. I know she likes Virginia baked ham. This I'm going to put in the journal. These I'm going to keep out. Well, maybe I can fit these in here. Like that, in there. Sit on it! All right, we're down to my desk. What time is it? It's I've got about 45 minutes. I'm kind of done with the ledger for tonight. I'm going to work on my Ju July, June and July pages. We're going to put this in here. Maybe she... Let's see, this is dated, though. This is dated way before her time, I think. The catalog of the expedition... expedition exhibition of painters by Ben Froster Carnegie Institute April 14th through 13th 1915 so she could have just inherited this from her mother or father um, but I think it goes in this journal nice uh, I think one of these pocket pages I have out of she could just have memorabilia in here it's a keepings journal it's a keepings journal did i stick something together here i think i did it's okay if it's tears i don't mind that stuff i was putting this backing on i need to oh and i this flips open this way but i have a one of these is a pocket. Oh, let's find it. I'll do a little bit of a flip. Here I did a, a date thing. February 3rd, 1959, Tuesday. Keeping's Journal of Alexia M. King, created by Meridel Abrams, the Mary Atelier. And I think I want to say more about this, how I feel like a journal should tell a story. I have to think exactly how I want to say it. This is a flip page. This came from Johnny. And I have a Bow Bunny newsprint stamp that I did this. Alexia studied shorthand in college in preparation of a business degree. And I don't know. This is her graduation photo. We're going to call this her graduation photo. And I put it over here. Uh, someplace she's going to graduate from college. Maybe in here. This is wax paper. I haven't worked on these pages yet. I'm looking for a pocket. This is a pocket page. This could just be the keepings page. Uh, I might have to. Let's see if I got another one. So this I put these in tonight. These are the tabs. And the last one is going to be family. The one in here, I think she's going to draw the one in here with all these blank marigold pages. I might do a little journaling. Maybe write her thoughts 
of living in Denver and what she wants for her future, maybe give a little bit of her past and and how she met Harry and her brothers and maybe do some sketching in there. Um, one of them might be quotes or things she's interested in. Here's a photo. This is her. This could be her Australian friend, too. What did I do with that book? I put it over here. Let's put this one in here. So this is a keeping probably from her mother. It's dated 1925, 1915. So this could be from her mother. Her mother, she probably got that from her mother. I'll just, and she's keeping it. She likes it. So, uh, here's a, I'm not sure what I was thinking about with this. It looks like her. We'll just put it over here someplace with the photos. And then we did, we didn't do anything in these pages yet. We did the father page tonight. This part of it. I need to do something down in here. And it seems like it's going to stick there just fine, like that, and flip open this way, and it says father, and I want to do more here, maybe talk about her father in there. But, oh, let's just put this back. And see, I used that number tape there to kind of, well, I did this, really didn't need it. But it needed it over here on this short one, which probably still needs it. So I made it match over here. And then I also put number tape in there because this was, this was kind of wobbly. But that kind of helps it stay steady. Did I put another one in here? I don't think I did. Yeah, I did here. It matches that. And I'm looking for... That other, where is it? Is it this one? Let's put these, let's put these, this photo in there too, like that for now. And I don't think it'll have a closure because I have all of this here. And I'll have some more tabs sticking out here with those other. So there we go. There's where I am working on this. Let's refresh chat. See where you guys are. Uh, maybe he's in the military. Yeah, there is a military picture of a man and a woman. Um, a couple, two men and two women, they're couples, and one is wearing a military uniform and the other two are just street clothes. The Oh, maybe Harry's in the military? Well, he went to college and he worked on his master thesis. So I don't know if he's in the military or not. Uh, she talks about the palace down there. Now, whether she just read about that or if um, she just, or if he's, maybe he's, I'm thinking he might be doing some government work down there because she's talks about the palace. But we'll be working on this. We'll tell her story. I, I like it that it tells a story. And we've got plenty of telling left to do, but not tonight. We're done for tonight on that. I want to work on this and I think that's, I've got a bunch of napkins and fabric over there. That's book band. I should put that in the, let me put this over in the mailer box because this will be useful for when I do the other journals. I, um, she's going to check and see if she's got some book board. She hasn't told me. If she doesn't, somebody is making a journal out of game boards. 
and I'm thinking I can get game boards. This is July. This is from the fireworks last night, and I've got a napkin. We're going to work on July a little here, and this is all June. I'll put that over there for now. And let's collage. July 1st, we celebrated 4th of July. So that's going to go on this. I'm going to collage it down. And let's just save these papers for something else. And I was able to rescue a, a little firework paper here from they water you know they shoot off those fireworks then they get the hose out and because it, their papers are still hot and everything they hose all the papers and fireworks down so it doesn't catch fire during the night oops that's not my root staple remover where's my staple remover and she shot that one off while it was still daylight out and it was sitting out on the driveway and I ran and I rescued it and they all laughed at me because I rescued Christmas papers in 4th of July this was the only one I got rescued though and then I rescued a napkin we had pretty paper plates and napkins we had pizza I didn't rescue a paper plate. That one's still in there. Where is it? You can see it's gunpowder or whatever it smells like firework too it smells burnt smoky all right oh it's stapled here if i can they had that little thing that she lit packed in here over on this side Feels grimy in there from the. All right. And I want to put some wax paper down. Throw this away. It feels grimy. So let's tear off a sheet of wax paper. Look, I got a Christmas napkin. <laughs> Christmas in July. I should work on some of the Christmas stuff I was doing. I never finished my December daily last year. I was doing all those. I, I finished the journal. I just didn't get all my... I was doing paper dolls that turned into sewing and... The whole bit. I didn't get them all done. Alrighty. I'm not going to bother with wetting it down tonight because I'm just going to do the napkin. I'm going to put this away. Yeah, we're going to collage this napkin. And I think it's only got one layer. Hopefully I can get it off here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the tape right here. Mm. 
This has got one layer. Yeah, we had our 4th of July last night. They're having, they'll have another 4th of July with friends in town. But it was enough for my brother and I. We were ready to come home. Gosh, we didn't get out of there till 11 o'clock last night. It was getting late. It was getting late. All right, I only want to do part of it here. Just like that. And I'm going to do it with wet glue or what? I have those jot glue sticks, but I really prefer the wet glue. Let's open this up. I really prefer the wet glue. Let me reach for it. Uh, Can you guys see? Am I out of frame? And one of these brushes I use to glue. Which one? This one? Yeah. It feels yucky. I filled that glue pot. I forgot I filled it. And this will just be the beginning of the 4th of July. desk journal. All right, let's put this up here out of the way. Probably should have done this a section at a time rather than trying to do the whole darn page at once. Here comes a choo choo train. That's pretty good. Now this will be the front cover, and then let's see how much I have left on the back on the next page. Let's see if I have enough. Not quite, but that's okay too. We'll do this one over here. I think it went clear over there, almost.
this is just a memory of all journal that we spent 4th of July with my nephew and his family. Gosh, my niece is growing up. My goodness, she just seems to grow. I don't see her every day, so she changes. <laughs> Between the times I get to see her, she's growing up. She had a friend with her last night. I think they're in the same class and everything. Seemed like it, they were got along pretty good together. It was good to see her because she's an only child. And it's good to see her have a friend. Friends, if you're an only child, your friends can you know, help you find your way through all the... I wasn't an only child. I had two brothers. My sister, I didn't know that well. My sister left home when I was in sixth grade. All right, this is kind of wet. This is wet. Oops. I put this back on the glue. They're shooting off fireworks. Let me put the glue back over here. Ah. ah. <laughs> I need to clean up my cleaning. I need to clean my cleaning. I got things scattered just because I use, you know, I use stuff. And I have to get it out as I use it. Just like uh, this book and this. And I'm looking for my heat gun. It's here someplace. Here's the cord to it. Maybe if I pull on the cord, I'll find the heat gun. Now. What is this? There it is. It's all twisted up in here. Honestly, Mary. Hold the phone. We've got a start down on the floor. <laughs> there. All righty. Let's look at chat. Maybe this can dry a little while. Let me refresh my chat. Sherry says, this one is turning out nice. The ledger or the page? Kathy had to leave. She says, it's that time. Good night, everybody. Sweet dreams, Kathy. That's a cool napkin. That is pretty, isn't it, Amber? It's a nice napkin. I always snitch one after everybody's eaten. I asked Kelly if I could have one. Kelly's his wife, my nephew's wife. I said, do you mind if I sneak a napkin? Sure. And, you know, I always ha have a napkin when I eat, but I don't want to use a napkin that I wiped my mouth off with on, on the journal. It's crazy loud here with the fireworks, Paula says. Yeah, they're shooting them off over here, Paula. Paula said, these journals are so intriguing to me. Aren't these fun? Aren't these journals just fun? I love it to tell a story. I haven't, you know, I tell the story of Fib Diggity. Got a little bluing to do there. I tell the story of Fib Diggity, and I really haven't journaled Fib Diggity. I've, I've verbalized the stories. Oh, and I was going to tell you guys, one reason why I'm accumulating so much, like those ledger pages and everything, what I want to do is I'm going to go back through my, you, uh, this is 10 years, I've been on YouTube 10 years, and I'm going to go back and go through, I don't know how I can get to my, well, I can get to my first video, but I have to get to like 
the first one and then work up because I'm going to make a list. I'm going to journal all the projects that I worked on by year. And I'm going to do that in one of these ledger journals that I'm making. So, uh, but I, I don't want to start another journal right now because I want to finish this one. But I like how my journals kind of tell a story. Uh, I've done so many things, you know, like the Society of Idea Collector and just regular art journals. It's time to tell some stories. It's time to tell some stories, and I might like to do a story around that. I have another letter, group of letters, that I got from Johnny. And it's, uh, about, I, I opened them up here, of a soldier over in World War II. World War II was over with, I think, by the time he wrote that letter. But he was in a Red, hot, a Red Cross hospital over in Germany. And he's writing home to his parents in Michigan. And that would be fun to to do a journal around. It doesn't have to be a big thick journal this like this. But <clears throat> he tells a lot of you know they put a lot of interesting. If you read between the lines, you can really learn a lot about these people. <laughs> All right, let's dry it off on this side. I didn't get it even down here, but I'll... This is going to be my July desk journal. I don't know how thick it was. June is not that thick. April's not that thick. thick. May, I think, is thicker. I think I've got January, February, March in my first um, desk journal that I've done for 2023. And then the next one's going to have april may and june and none of those are that thick i might be able to fit july in there too we'll see because i've been doing other things like that rag doll and this ledger journal so the desk journal just gets done when you know when i'm doing stuff like this <laughs> all right that's done that's pretty dry. So I can fold it like this. Now we need to trim it. Trim it here. And it's fun just to sit and do this. But I have to tell you guys, I don't come in here except for when I'm streaming with you guys. Uh, I got other things in my life that I'm working on, like gardening, and I'm trying to clean my studio up, sorting all that out, inventory and boxes, you know, and then you got to do life stuff, like laundry. I did two. I got one in the dryer and one that needs to come out of the washer and get in the dryer. I usually do that when I do my laundry. I dry it uh, when my morning coffee is cooking. I'll go in there and pull everything out, mostly leggings and stuff like that. Now, I could put this. I can get it open. I glued it shut. I glued it shut. Well, there you go. I was thinking I could put this over here. Matchy, matchy it up. I want that to end right about in there. I think I can do that. Oops, it needs to... Oh, no, it needs to come over more. Maybe just the 
edge here, just the edge. Let's fold it up and cut it. One more. Leave a little blue on it. No, I'm going to have to trim it more. Bring this down here, right in there. Yeah, I'll do that. Means I have to get my glue out again. Maybe I've got enough on my brush. I do. Can't see where the fold is here. Now I've got two pages out of that napkin. Now, let's just throw this away. We'll keep this um, in my journal. Where's my journal? This is for July. We could actually put this over here. That might be fun to do. Put it right in there. Could paint that red. Um, this will go in here. Like, like this. So I'll open it up. I'm going to document on here how we spent 4th of July but this little guy opens up this way and am I going to be able to get him on he could stick out I don't know if I want him sticking out he almost goes down though and this page is short enough I think he'll be fine I think he'll be fine. So we want to paint this page, this side of the page red. And we want to paint this red. So let's do that. Let 
that I I want. I want this and this. And so let's do this first. Uh, red paint here. Red, red, red. I got some Tuscan red from, but we're going to use this bright red. And I got a brush here that's not, that's wet though. Pull this napkin out without dropping everything on the floor. This is not the glue one. The glue one's still in there. And I'm just going to paint this red in here. And let's double up my wax paper here. Shakey, shakey, shake. Let me refresh chat. Top chat. What happened to chat? Live chat. Crazy loud here with fireworks. Kathy went to bed. Amber says, we have had some fireworks tonight, but my doggy only barked a couple times. Paula says, wow, happy 10 years on YouTube. Thank you, Paula. It's been an up and down ride. But you know what? If you're just starting out on YouTube and you just don't get discouraged, that's what I would tell you guys. And I'd also tell you, don't let other people's opinion drive what you want to do. You know, because they may be down a different journey than you are. And if, if somebody doesn't like shorts and you want to do shorts, don't let the fact that somebody else doesn't care for shorts, you know, uh, we all have our likes and dislikes and we're entitled to them. And if you want to do shorts or whatever you're doing, it doesn't have to be shorts. I just use that as an example because that's a recent thing, but just say that you're into making cards and one of your friends doesn't like to make cards and then uh, I'll go buy my cards and you want to make cards you make cards you do what you want to do but you also have to be aware of what your audience likes um it's an up and down hill truthfully uh, right now it's kind of on a downhill for me um, but I think it, I'm not the only person. I think YouTube is kind of going through a, a season of where people are getting saturated with channels and watching videos. And, you know, they got lives. But, you know, that's okay, too. I'm not going to let it stop me. I enjoy doing my art. And I enjoy sharing my art. And I'm going to continue. And, you know, I, I really think things go in cycles, just like businesses go in cycles. I'm going to dry that. Put my brush over here. Things go in cycles. What happened to my heat gun? It's down here somewhere. Heat gun alert. So I would tell you, if you're new and starting out... Just keep at it. You're not going to be perfect. You're not going to please everybody. Um, do what you enjoy. Tell your people that do come and watch you that you appreciate them. Like I appreciate all you guys spending your Sunday evening with me. And just have fun with it. I'm not a business. I'm not here to make money. A lot of channels are on YouTube just to make money. 
And while that's okay for them, that's not my goal. And if that's your goal, go for it. There's a lot of advice out there on how to make money on YouTube. <laughs> There's a lot of people will tell you how to build your subscribers. There's a lot of people will tell you how to make your thumbnail. And there's a lot of advice out there. All right, we're going to put this, I think, this way. I'll let a little of that red show at the bottom. And we're going to just put it right in there. And I guess I'm going to get my glue out again. I keep putting it away and getting it out. And I have to reach across the cart to get it. And I haven't put my brush back in the water, though. I don't know how wide this is. It's pretty wide. Nah. I should... Um, would like to watch more YouTube than I get done, but I don't get anything else in my life done if I sit and watch YouTube all day. I owe some... Oh, that red's going to show through. Oh, well. We'll have red stars. It's the sparkle from the fireworks. Red stars showing through here. Got a little glue I need to do here. Alrighty, I'm good with that. And I keep wrinkling up my blue paper here for my bottle. Now we're going to paint that other side sheet red and put that little snake on it. He's a 4th of July snake decorative piece. Oh. See, and then I have August starts over here. And then I'll put all of July in there. But we're going to paint this red. Just this side. Did I use that for glue? I think I did. Well, oops. I'm going to dip it in my paint, too. I think I glued with this brush. I didn't mean to. Alrighty. And you can add other colors to this. I just want a red background. Uh, solid background will make the little snake pop out. I need a, a holder here. Yeah, that's good. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just needs to be red. I think I can put it in the water now. Let's give it a a dry. What time is it? It's almost 10 o'clock. After I get this page done, I'm going to call it a night. And wish you all a happy 4th. I will be going live Tuesday morning. Tuesday is... I pulled the plug out. Tuesday is the 4th. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing. I don't know if I'm going to work in the ledger or if I'm going to do 4th of July. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. And I've been starting my streams at 6 o'clock in the morning instead of 4.30 until I get my 
and just temporarily. I'm not sure when I'm going to go back to 430, but um, temporary. I'm going to be at 430. I seem, I mean, at six o'clock, I seem to, I still get up at four, but I seem to um, get a little, I, I, I get a half an hour is not enough for me to get myself in gear. And I seem to do better if I start at six. It shortens the time that I'm streaming, but I still get four hours on, three to four hours, and that's plenty of time for a stream. I have a little bit different community in the mornings. And don't forget, in July, sometime probably uh, around the 20th or between the 20th and the 25th, I'm going to do another 10-year celebration giveaway. So keep your ears tuned to that. I'll announce it. I'll probably announce it in here. Whoever's here will find out, and I'll post it on Fib Diggity. But I'm not going to post it too much ahead of time. Because, like I said, I don't want people who really don't support my channel. They're just there to get the goods. I'd rather have it go to those of you who've supported me over the years. And I'm going to do this throughout the year. Uh, my 10-year anniversary was June the 15th. So I don't know how many times I'm going to do it. But I'll do it as often as my budget will allow me. <laughs> uh, I have a little bit of extra money this month. I I got uh, I bought an eco printer. I bought that yarn winder, and uh, the yarn winder I got with a YouTube payment. And I really want to thank you guys for that because it's you coming and watching the videos and supporting my channel that enables me to. Get those things. I need my snake. He's going to go on here. Like this. And he fits right in there. I think I can get him down a little bit more. I think I can. And I'm not going to paint this page. This is just the 4th of July do I want him going this way or the other way? I think I want him going this way. And I guess I'll put a little tape on his head here. Under there just to... And then I'll document it here. I might bring him over a little. Let's put him on. So tomorrow is Monday, Monday, Monday. Dee Dee Willingham comes on at 8.30 Eastern, 7.30 Central. I will not be streaming tomorrow morning. Um, Janet Nash comes on at 9 Eastern. I don't generally make those streams because I'm so tired. And who did that? Lori loves Montana. Oh my goodness, it's good to see you. Bless your heart. Bless your heart, you guys. You just, oh, thank you so much, Lori. Happy 10 year anniversary, Mary Gold. Oh, Lori, did you see where I dyed papers with Mary Gold flowers? Did you see that? I'll show it to you here. Did you see my ledger journal or did you just pop in? I worked in my ledger journal tonight. Thank you, Lori. I appreciate you guys. You are the ones, you guys are the reason. And Lori, when I do that giveaway, are you in my Facebook group? Fib diggity. There's a link in my you've been watching okay well then I won't 
I'll I'll pop a little of it before I go off tonight just as a review. But uh you guys are the reason that I can do a lot of this. Laura gifted me this tabletop. She sent me six of us. I was mad at our local Dollar Tree. I don't know if they got the, the tape in yet. I asked for it again. And she told me to go buy it off the <laughs> website. I thought, wow, that's a really a cool way to run your store. Just tell people to go buy it on the website. I thought, man, I want the old manager back. They seem to take away the stuff that I like. Now, I was crabbing a lot about not being able to find pin plus gear pins. Lori, stop. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, she gave me another 10 bucks. Thank you, Lori. Ah, that's sweet of you. So I'm going to leave it like this, and I'll journal that this is one of the 4th of July uh, decorations. I'm not going to do any more on it tonight. But you guys are the reasons I can get stuff like this, um, because I'm not a business. I just, I just have AdSense, you know, just that's my monetization. Uh, a lot of people will you know, have businesses, and that's okay, too, but I don't think I could do a business, to tell you the truth. I can't even do happy mail. <laughs> I can't even do happy mail. I still, oh, I got a blaze that I did for Lori. He's sitting over there. <laughs> I haven't mailed him out. I'm terrible. I am terrible, terrible. Where's the inside of this? This is it. And I got this envelope. I don't know if I'm going to use this. I put it in there, but these go in here. And it'll depend on what I do. I might take one of those papers that came with Johnny's stuff and journal in here about the 4th of July. And I don't know. If I'm going to do the journaling there, uh, I might journal about America's. I think here's it's 200. I might put happy 274 anniversary. I think it's uh, 274, 247 years for the United States this year for, for our happy birthday. So this is July desk journal. I'll put it in here for now. And I was going to work on June. But it's 10 o'clock. I'll do June maybe. I'll be back on Tuesday morning. Let's see. Tomorrow's a busy YouTube day. Tomorrow is a busy YouTube day because I there's Janet Nash at 9 o'clock Eastern, Dee Dee at 8.30 Eastern. Janet Young comes on after uh, Dee Dee, I think at 1 o'clock Eastern. And... Lisa, My Eclectic Life comes on at 1.30 Central. And somebody else comes in there um, Monday evening. Oh, Barb Owen comes on Monday afternoons now. And Monday night, I think Lori Loves Montana comes on. Not Lori Loves Montana. <laughs> Pink girly Lori. Sorry, Lori. So Monday's a busy YouTube day. You'll not get bored. Uh, and if you're taking the day off, if you're working and taking the day off for a 4th of July holiday, enjoy your day. Enjoy your freedom. Let's just thank not only God, but all the men and women who served in our service. We do that on Memorial Day, but we would not be a country if our forefathers did not here I'm up on my soapbox, but, uh, you know, we owe the people who came before us an awfully lot. We are so blessed that people who, who came before us um, fought for our freedoms. And, you know, it's, the United States is not perfect, but boy, I'll tell you, I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> I'm glad I'm here. I'm thankful. So 
Go out and enjoy your 4th of July. Lucy said scotch is good. Scotch. Uh, you're talking about, <laughs> when you say scotch, I think of a glue stick. <laughs> Let's see. Amber says, she sure is. She sure is. I always hate when I miss her lives. Let's see. I love what you are able to do, Paula says. Well, I'll tell you, when I did this, I've learned a lot from Johnny doing this. Uh, the way she bound it, I learned on that. And then she clips. I I especially liked how she clips her. Because I put these, I stitched. I, I usually do the three-hole pamphlet stitch. But she, I, I did her way. And I did okay on the first signatures. It took me a while. But these last two got kind of wobbly. But I really liked how Johnny angles these when she puts this signature in, the signature block in. I like how she does that. And I think I learned the most about, well, she actually, she actually gave us little headband fabric there. You can't see mine very well, but they're there. And she gave us the webbing to go on the spine. I use my own fabric on the spine. Now, one thing she did that I haven't done and I might do, she mod podged her cover. This is all a printable that comes with the kit. And most of her papers are, most of the papers in here are ones that she sent. Like this is hers, the graph paper's hers. Um, this is my marigold dying. This is hers. This is her shorthand is her. So most I've used most of her papers, but she's got more. Um, this section here, where is it? I skipped it. This section is all my marigold. So this is going to be um, Alexia's keeping journal. Thank you, Lori Loves Montana, for the... Not only one, but two super chats. You blessed me tonight. I really appreciate it. So happy 4th of July, everybody. And I will see you Tuesday morning, probably around 6 o'clock Central. Go out, enjoy, enjoy your freedom. We are so fortunate to have it. Good night.